Hello, welcome to News Update. The Ukrainian government on Thursday said more than 80,000 people have been evacuated from areas surrounding Kiev and Semi over the past two days. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board on Thursday warned that there will be no extension of registration for 2022 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination candidates, thereby advising all candidates to make sure they complete their registrations before March 26. This was disclosed in a statement by spokesman for JAM Fabian Benjamin on Thursday in Abuja. Governor of Kaduna State Nasser El Rufai has approved the appointment of village head of Tafa Gari, Mr. Adamu Yohana, as overseer of the newly created Dinatat chiefdom in Kagarko local government area of the state. El Rufai made the announcement through the local government council chairman, Mr. Nasser Arabo, on Thursday. The governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Waziri Tambowal, on Thursday donated 30 million naira to the families of the victims of banditry attacks in Kebi State. Bandits killed 65 vigilantes in an ambush on Monday, while some soldiers were also killed by bandits on Tuesday in the state. The Anugu State Directorate Office of the Nigeria Copyright Commission on Thursday shot down Real Summit Television Network for allegedly rebroadcasting copyright protected content to Unsuka residents and its environs. The commission also arrested three staff of the network and confiscated thousands of equipment, including over 70 different decoders of various cable networks and computers. The Senate President Ahmad Blawan has advised women not to lose hope in their demands for legislation on gender related matters. Lawan spoke in Agasa and Kogi State on Thursday against the backdrop of some gender-related bills that recently failed to scale through at the National Assembly. The Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Obon Naya Onu, on Thursday said, Nigeria and the European Union will strengthen bilateral ties, especially in the areas of agriculture and research findings. He said this in Abuja while receiving the ambassador to the European Union, Ambassador Samuel Isopi. And that's the news update. You can get more from TUS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.